Welcome to the review of our current times. I'm Dominish Arjanari, your host, and I'd like to take this opportunity to give you some information in between the episodes of the Forbidden Origin series, in which we are looking at who we are and what we are, how that affects us today as we're living in a time of extremes. And it doesn't take a lot of uh, knowledge or understanding to really know that what we're experiencing right now in the world is well and truly a time of extremes. And I really wanted to do this for a very long time, this whole episode in which we you know, go through the whole process and have a look at who we are, uh, how we fit into the world, how we fit into the universe, and to help just answer some questions to help us understand the troubling waters that we are going to be faced with moving forward. This is by no means doom and gloom. I'm very hopeful uh, as to what that means and how we need to navigate and what we need to do to get through these times. We will get through, we always have as a civilization. I've got a lot of confidence in that. But there's a lot of information in the episodes of the Forbidden Origin series. I believe there's two up at the moment. The first one, how we looked at the evolution of the, you know, the human body and you know what the science perspective says versus what the newer sciences and the newer discoveries are talking about. In the following episode, uh, we had a look at you know the uh, space programs and what NASA's doing and, and uh, you know, we understand that organizations like NASA and a lot of the uh, privatized organizations that are dealing with space, we're on a sort of need to know basis. We, we aren't privy to all of their information and all of their knowledge. So I'd like to focus this episode right now, this in-between episode of the review of our current times. And um, just to give you a little bit of a heads up as to what's going on now. So. Right now, we're experiencing um, uh, stories that are being written. And you know how I, I'm always talking about, you know, in my episodes, I finish them off, how the stories uh, right now that we're being told are either going to make us or break us. So right now we have uh, media that is, uh, you know, feeding us a lot of information. And that information, not all of it is, is accurate. Not all of it is true, I dare say. In fact, probably most of it isn't. So if we have a look at the uh, media and the stories that they're telling us, if we're following those stories, I'm being a bit more broad with this. If you're given an idea of, of a certain theory or a certain uh, movement or a certain, just something that's happening at, at the moment today, whether it be political or any one of those uh, things there, that's a story that you're being given, right? So what you would then do is say, okay, this is a fairly credible source. It's, you know, so-and-so a news group or whoever it is. Um, and you base your reality on what that is is dictating to you. You sort of can't get away from it. I mean, if you have a social media account, whether it be Facebook, you know, you have a YouTube channel like I have, or you have Instagram or Twitter, you're just bombarded every second of the day with uh, this new information and information that is misinformation. And I'll explain what misinformation is. Um, people that are uh, misinformed, and it might be members of the media that are misinformed. Um, it's information that they might not understand the knowledge, or they might not. It might not be the correct knowledge, and it's done sort of. I guess you can say unwittingly. Uh, however, you also have disinformation. Disinformation is where something is purposefully designed to mislead you, so to take you down a, a direction that is not true and that is purposefully done. And unfortunately, it's really sad that that is the case, but this is happening. So we need to, as a um, as a collective culture, with your, I mean, you can probably tell from my funny Australian accent, I'm from Australia, Melbourne, Australia. We have to understand that, you know, these, uh, these stories that are being uh, given to us, fed to us, we really have to take a step back and, and look at them for what they are and really have a look and see, okay, where's this coming from? Does this qualify and work out with these other sources? At the same time, not investing too much of your emotions and, and upset into uh, what's happening at the moment. There's a lot going on and it, as I said, it doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on. It doesn't matter uh, what your beliefs are right now. The most important thing is to understand that, okay, there are uh, channels that are, are publicizing to us uh, stories. And we need to really be militant, uh, you know, have our own integrity and review these stories for what they are. And with a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of research and a little bit of further thinking, forward thinking, 
you can really stand back and have a look and say, okay, that piece of information, that doesn't really work for me. And that's the reason why, you know, it might be reason one, reason two, reason three, and they might not work out or check out. Um, so yeah, we need to be really militant of the misinformation and the disinformation, which is a very, very real phenomena. So I hope you're enjoying the Forbidden Origin series. I'm going to continue the series in order to give you a bit more of an understanding of what's going on. I'm happy to be doing this. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And until then, have a great time and I will be back in touch very soon. Yeah.